Hi welcome to Tekken channel. Do you want to create your own Windows 11 installer? The default installer you download from the Microsoft website has a lot of useful applications and is suitable for most people. But with a computer that has been purchased for a long time over a gamer. There are many unnecessary applications such as the old web browser Internet Explorer OneDrive. In this video, I will show you how to create a compact Windows installer that removes the applications that you do not want on your own Windows 11 operating system. Let's start. To customize Windows 11 ISO file, you need MSGM Toolkit. You install 7-zip software to extract a downloaded file. The MSGM software has a command line interface but is very simple to use. You just need to do the software's suggested options. I have tried some software with graphical interface and I find it more difficult to use than MSGM. So, I choose MSMG to introduce to you. First you copy the ISO file of the Windows 11 operating system and paste it into the folder named ISO of the MSMG software. You open MSGM software by clicking on the start file. A command line interface appears and you follow the instructions of the software. This is the main screen of the software with seven options, we do it from top to bottom. First you choose the source to extract the ISO file of the Windows 11 operating system. If you have many ISO files, the software asks you to choose the file you want to extract so you enter the name of your ISO file. We will use the extracted files to customize the Windows 11 installer. So, you choose the source as the DVD folder. With the default installer of Windows 11 will give you 11 installation versions. I like the Pro version so I'm choosing number 6. Next you press number 3 to remove the applications that you do not want in your Windows 11 operating system. Before removing components of Windows 11 you need to select the components that you want to remove. The first is a web browser, by default there will be two web browsers, I will remove one and keep one. I got rid of the old Internet Explorer web browser and I don't use it anymore. Next is the rest of Windows 11 components. MSGM Toolkit divides Windows 11 components into eight different parts for you to easily choose. Let's go from top to bottom to choose want to remove. I really had a hard time choosing the components I wanted to remove with other GUI software. Although MSGM has a command line interface, customization is easy for me. I will browse the remaining components of Windows 11 to find what I want to remove. If you want to remove them all, just press A or number 1 is instructed below. For me, I removed most of the components of the Windows 11 operating system, leaving only the Microsoft Edge web browser. Because I want a computer with high performance and smooth use. You browse the components from top to bottom to avoid confusion or forgetting the components you want to remove. I recommend you keep applications you use often like weather, calculator, or notepad. After selecting the components you want to remove, go back to the previous screen and follow the steps below. This step will help you to remove the components you selected in the previous step. Depending on the number of your selections more or less, the time will be fast or slow. After you have removed the components as you want, you go back to the main screen and enter the number 5 for the changes to be applied. If you change a lot from the original file, the customization time will be longer. And here is the step to create your own ISO file. This step will help you create the Windows 11 installer you want. You name the new ISO file as you like. This ISO file is your result after removing the components of the Windows 11 operating system. 
The new ISO file is about 1 GB smaller than the original file. Next, and just need to create Windows 11 bootable USB to install on the target computer. Next, I will plug this USB stick into the target computer and install. You finally have a customized Windows operating system to your liking. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Tekken channel.